beautiful people. Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel. In the Notero 1122, this is going to be a general message for the sign of Cancer. This is going to be for June. Um, yeah, general message. It will not resonate with everyone. So please take what fits. Leave the rest. Feel free to check the other signs in your chart to see if they resonate. If you like my vibe and how I get down with my readings, please hit that subscribe button. Most of all, hit that like button for your girl, okay? And be sure to check out other readers as well, okay? Alright, so let's get into it. What messages do we have for Cancer? A little sage going on there. My last reading was kind of like, whoa. <laughs> All right, so let's see. What messages do you have for Cancer in June? Messages for Cancer in June. What do they need to know? All right, first card out is power. Second card out, destiny. All right. Some of you guys are going to be stepping into things you've never done before. Alright, temptation, rejoice, and celebration. Alright, and then on the bottom of the deck, you have movement, choices, and decisions. Alright, so, uh, yeah, it looks like you got a lot going on. Like I said, it looks like a lot of you guys might be stepping into things that you've never done before, and it is your destiny. You may be tempted to stay um, where you are. Um... Yeah, it might be a little bit, uh, like I said, you're stepping out of your comfort zone. Stepping out of your comfort zone, and you might be tempted uh, to stay where you are, or temptation might be coming in trying to pull you back, keeping you from moving forward towards your destiny, okay? So, yeah, you might have to find the strength to just, you know, tell people no and leave things that are not for your highest good. Leave it behind you know because it's not part of your destiny you do have rejoice and celebration so yeah leaving old things behind going towards new will actually bring you prosperity okay so you do have a lot of changes going on possibly with your money maybe relationships could be your locations and things like that okay even when it comes to your spirituality you might be making some changes there as well uh, you're being called to make sure that you uh, think about some of these things before you uh, just jump off and take that leap of, you know, faith or whatever. Make sure that you choose wisely, okay? Things are for you, that are for your highest good. Let's see. What else? What else? Any messages for cancer for June? All right. You have mature woman. Let's see. You might be speaking with or spending time with an elder, getting advice from um, an older woman. You might be an older woman, mature. Okay, this won't resonate for everybody. You have mature woman, message of concern, pathway. Okay, some of you may have like older parents and things like that that you might want to just reach out and touch bases and just make sure that you check, you know, that they're okay. Check on your folks, you know. So yeah, you have mature woman. You have message of concern. And I do apologize that my... Um, cards are backwards for you guys but I'm showing them to you anyway and you have pathway all right so with this temptation and destiny um, yeah some of you actually have brand new endeavors like some this is a path that you've never done before you've never been down before and like I said it's gonna be new and you're gonna be tempted to stay where you are but um, yeah keep moving there's going to be a lot of transformation, a lot of change here. And it's going to lead to, you know, to happiness, to goodness, abundance. And you also have butterflies there. So along the way, there's going to be some transformation with you as well. Okay. Um, you might get some type of communication from an official person, maybe someone from a court or something like this. Or it could be that this situation might actually lead you 
to a higher position or maybe even a boss CEO of your own company or something like that. Let's see. Submitted to the divine. So if there you find things that is out of your control, like this temptation here, if you really feel pulled, don't move towards it. You know, pray about it, meditate about it, take your hands off of it. When it comes to this movement, choices and decisions as well. If you don't know what to do, seek answers from a higher source. Also with this mature woman here, like I said, you might want to seek counsel from an elder about a situation if you're deciding to make some moves or whatever and you're undecided about it okay um yeah so that know that you're going to be okay the divine is working with you your dreams need a practical plan so like i said here over here with these movement and choices you need to seek counsel from someone make sure that you have a pan a, a pan a plan in place in which direction you want to move what's your end goal okay all right, balance, spirituality, and practicality. All right, so here, again, like I said, one of the things you are going to be working on is your spirituality, okay? So, um, <laughs> I'm not going to say, you know, because to each his own, but, you know, don't don't get so, so spiritual that, you know, you're not really able to communicate with other people, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that part. You know, you still want to be able to blend in with, you know, well, not blend in, do your own thing, stand out if you must. But, yeah, just don't get, you know, stay balanced, period. I'm going to leave it at that. All right, so what else for cancer? What else? I'm going to turn these around. All right, what else for cancer for June? What does cancer need to know? All right, so um, cancer. There may have been some betrayal here. Um, yeah, I felt like you were stabbed in the back, wounded. There are some things that just didn't pan out for you, and you feel really kind of beat up behind it, you know, um, really wounded. Some of you are really, really thinking about the past a lot, and you're not looking forward to this new pathways here, okay? And some of you really need to actually seek counsel, and not only from a mature woman, but, you know, maybe, um, you know, a spiritual advisor or something like that to help you heal some of these wounds here and help you get away from, you know, things of the past, these emotional breakdowns or um, relationships that broke down that didn't work that you can't get over, you know, from whatever it is. You're not able to see what's in front of you, the blessings that are in front of you. You have new ways, new... You know what? Maybe you're tempted to stay in the past. Some of you are tempted to stay in the past. You want to move on. You know that there's a key out there that you can utilize to, you know, for brand new beginnings. But you're stuck. Hold on. What else is for cancer? Come on. Come on. All right, Cancer. Look, it's time to close this cycle out. We're getting over this, okay? And matter of fact, I haven't even used this deck yet, but we have the wheel here. Yes, sweetheart. Look, we have the wheel here. <laughs> Things are, are moving forward. You do have happiness coming for you, okay? So right now, you just kind of stuck contemplating what happened over this situation with this Five of Cups also, okay? You know? There's a lot of conflict and, and drama behind this past situation, but see, the thing is, you got to get out of that um, Five of Cups energy because you have brand new love coming for you, brand new full cup of love, blessings coming for you. So you got to close this cycle out, okay? So we got to heal from this and move forward, okay? All right, so let's see. This past situation brought a lot of conflict. There's nothing you can do about it. Surrender to the divine. Have faith. Move forward. Heal from this. That's where your strength is coming from. This is why. If you move forward from this, change your thinking, your perception. You'll have celebration. Whatever this is that you were supposed to move from, you weren't supposed to stay there. 
So now is the time for you to move. You have multiple opportunities right now. Love, residence, money, everything right now is, is open. Let's see. What else? Look. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. I'm telling you. You have abundance. You have somebody that's interested in you. But right now you may be a bit closed off. Because there was a lot of drama and problems that you went through in the past. Behind somebody that wasn't really worth it. Oh my goodness. Wow. Let's see. Give me one more if you can, sir. Mm. Yep. Look. I'm telling you. Look. The cards landed. Oh my goodness. See? Oh my goodness. My goodness. This is how your cards landed. Okay, so you got brand new beginnings, okay? You're working on yourself right now, but if you see her face, she's not really open to talking to people, okay? And that's cool. You're working on your pinnacles right now. You know, you didn't close out some cycles, but the thing is, is that you have brand new love coming for you, okay? You're not really trying to look at it right now because you're hurt, and that's understandable. But the thing is, you got to close the cycle out and move forward, okay? Because you have four of wands waiting for you. Like literally. Literally. And it's because justice is going to be served. Karma is stepping in. Alright, but we're going to clarify and make sure that I'm correct. But like I said, you do have somebody that's very passionate about you. However, you've gone through so much ish in the past. you kind of like, you know what? I don't know. I'm just kind of like protecting what I've already been through. I'm ready to just like, um, kind of like... <laughs> Go off on anybody that kind of steps to me. Not really go off, but I will give you a passionate discussion, you know, if it looks like you're coming at me with some BS. So right now, I'm just kind of like posted right here, focusing on my pinnacles, making my money right now. But what you fail to realize is that you have love here. Somebody that really cares for you. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that part. All right, so, um, yeah, let's see. What else? Alright, so this past person's energy is still lingering around a little bit. I don't really see the past person's energy. What I see is I see the hurt from this past person. Hmm. Let's see. Give me one more. Give me one more for cancer. See, the thing is, is that, man, you have multiple options. You have multiple options. The Seven of Cups landed on the Seven of Coins. You have multiple options, but you're busy, worried about, you know, your pinnacles, chilling by yourself. You may actually have an animal, you know, that you feel that's loyal, you know. That's who you could depend on right now. So you kind of close off to all these multiple options right about now. The thing is, is that, um, yeah, you got to get out of this mode right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you got to get out of this mode right here. Oh, my goodness. I think you feel stuck. Whatever relationship you were in, oh, my goodness, whatever you're leaving behind, this is what it is. There's some type of a codependency obsession, some type of, of, of yeah, there, there's something going on here with this person. I mean, this right here, look, you trapped, bound, feel like you got a soul tie with this person, like obsession. And you're having a hard time trying to move on. Trauma bonded, some, something's here. Something's here. Communication clear. What the heck is this? Wow. Some of this is wow. All right, so let's see. Ten of Swords here. Yeah, the strength and the star. 
Okay, so you are healing from this, like I said. Okay, so you have uh, power up here, which is a strength card. So you are healing from this, reigning in your emotions, you know, doing your shadow work, starting to move forward. However, like I said, this person, this is still showing in your energy, but slowly but surely you're doing what you need to do, even and out yourself. You know what I'm saying? Getting your emotions in balance. Wow. Like I said, you're getting, getting yourself together. You're balancing your life out. All right. Uh, why is the Ace of Cups here? You got a brand new beginnings. You got brand new beginnings, but anybody that kind of steps to you, oh my, look. Anybody that kind of steps to you, you kind of like, I don't know. Partner, what you coming with? And not being funny, you might have more, damn, you might have more than one offer as well. Kings here. Okay. Mm. I don't know. All right. I mean, you might listen to these people with these offers or whatever, but I don't know. Why is the Seven of Coins here? Why is the Seven of Coins here? I think you're more focused on your money. You're more worried about you working on your your happiness, your passionate beginnings, new beginnings, focusing on investing in yourself things that make you happy although you got some decisions to make or either this is what you decided someone probably decided not to focus on love right now or at least for a little while because it always brings them turmoil or whatever they feel if they would travel this world alone by themselves that'll be more peaceful a peaceful journey Focus on their nine of cups. They go back this way towards whoever this person is or relationships, period. They feel that there might be turmoil, drama, you know what I mean? Just a bunch of BS. So this person is probably deciding to take the easy road by themselves with the seven of pentacles and this ace of wands, brand new beginning. Focus on self, invest in self. Gaining clarity about all the things that, you know, that were hidden. Doing shadow work. Finding out things about themselves that were hidden. This relationship may have brought out some things that they needed to know. Through this karmic lessons, they figured out that they need to move forward. Wow. I know this is weird, but I just got some of you guys might be conversing with... Um, um, an elder through spirit, I don't know, that's helping you along the way through this journey that you need to go through. You have help. You have help. Either road that you take, you have help. See, there's deer along the way on both paths, okay? There's a buck on one, and it looks like it's actually two bucks. So, yeah. You have help along the way. And then if you take this Rocky Mountains over here, you actually have help and stuff, too. Even more so, you'll gain lessons and wisdoms here, karmic lessons. I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, those are possibly crows, so you'll get spiritual downloads. You'll learn some more karmic lessons along that way because you know it was the hard road to go back to. You knew it. You saw the red flags before you decided, you decided to go down this path. So, those crows are going to bring you more karmic lessons and it's going to be difficult. So, choose the other road, the easy way. Let's see. You have choices. Let's see, why is it real here? Why is it real here? Six of Cups. You ended something with someone from the past. This cycle is closed out. You learned the lessons that you needed to learn. You decided to focus on yourself. Closing this cycle out with this person here with this wheel. 
and the six of cups okay focusing on your pentacles with the seven of coins and what brings you happiness your passionate new beginnings okay with this ace of wands and seven of pentacles this person brought too much conflict drama into your life there we go the wheel we're closing this out this person may come in with communication they are possibly watching you you made a judgment call <laughs> You made a judgment call again, like I said, to focus on your pinnacles, okay? This person may have kept you in a third-party situation, okay? This affected your abundance, your household, your stability, your stability, your everything. Why? Because you couldn't focus on things. You were confused. You know what I mean? Blinded. There was things that you didn't see, things that you may have thought. You couldn't focus on things. And when you're with somebody that you're not supposed to and they bring a negative energy, it affects your pinnacles, okay? Look at this mouth sitting on top of your pinnacles. You working hard, stacking money, and somebody else is in there depleting your, your bank account, okay? So somebody decided to move on from this. Cutting things off that no longer serve them. Why? Because the divine said, uh-uh. This is not what we have for you, okay? We have someone that wants to commit to you, something that's stable, something that someone that's actually divinely guided, someone that you can actually um, commune with spiritually, okay? So, no, that's not the business. So that's not what we're doing. So Spirit says we're closing this cycle out, whether you want to or not, with this past person, they're out of there. All right, why is this 10 of Pentacles here? I'm sorry, 9 of Pentacles. All right, so, and if you haven't closed this out already, Spirit will come in and close it out because this is not for your highest good. All right, Ten of Pentacles. You're working on your money. Like I said, you may be collaborating with other people. You know what I mean? You might have some type of business or something like that or crafts or whatever, but you're working on your Pentacles. That's your main focus, your stability, brand new beginnings, okay? You might actually be collaborating with someone working towards your money that leads to more money and opportunity okay so therefore you have rejoice and celebration like i said you have multiple choices to make a lot of decisions that are going to affect every out every avenue of your life so choose wisely okay all right let's see what else is there anything else for cancer sweetheart you have new love coming you may be confused about it because, like I said, you have multiple options, okay? Multiple, multiple options. Some things from the past might have you feeling stuck, this heartbreak from this relationship, this toxicity, whatever this is bound and trapped you in, you know? This might hold you back. So I think you need to commune with spirit and get some type of clarity about this situation. Balance your life out, you know what I mean? Really. Manifest good things into your life. You know, like it says, choose wisely. You know, the judgment, every every choice that you make, every judgment move that you actually um, put into your life has an outcome. So that's why Spirit is telling you, okay, look, we got some blessings for you, but there's some roadblocks here. There's some temptations here, okay? But check this out. You're on the pathway to your destiny, okay? We've lit the path for you. We've also put some, some things in the way so you'll know you're doing the right thing. You're in the right direction. You know you're on the right path, all right? So, um, yeah, with that being said, let's get some more messages, and then we can close this out. Messages for cancer. Have lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. There's probably something that you don't know that's getting ready to hit the fan, or it probably already hit the fan. Possibly has to do with this um, this temptation right here. Okay, this messages of concern. I don't know. Okay, whatever it is, it's getting ready to cause a transformation in your life. But it's going to be a good thing, okay? You're being pushed to move forward. Possibly regarding this person from the past. Maybe about, you can ready to get some messages that this cycle is closed out. Maybe this person is going to contact you. Remember, I did say that I did see the page of swords. There's somebody possibly watching you. You might get communication coming in. So just beware that, yeah, there may be a tower moment coming. So, yeah. All right, so let's see. It's for your highest good. Come on, let those cards pop out. For cancer. The message is for cancer. 
we're not taking all of that. That's what we're not gonna do. No, 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 no. We we do not take all of that. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna suggest you cancel. Be reasonable. Thank you. I appreciate you. Alright, so on the bottom of the deck we have wedding rings. Union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Okay, so, um, yeah, this may have been a marriage. You might have someone coming up, the next person that you're with, um, with this two of cups right here. May actually be a person, I don't know. That devil energy, maybe there was a promise of marriage with this person here, and maybe that's why it's so hard to let go. Maybe this is why you feel betrayed. You know, um, yeah, I don't know. Somebody is really hurt because things didn't go the way that they have wanted to with this relationship. But the thing is, is that you have to realize this person wasn't meant to stay. If they are, they will come back, you know, later on when you get your things together. Right now, it's time for you to focus on your hustle because you got good things coming for you, okay? All right, so you have soulmate, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Okay, so this person that you were with, maybe you and this person had a soul contract for many lifetimes ago that uh, you decided that you would go through these karmic lesson, lessons together so you can ascend to a higher level together. But it kind of seems like, um, I don't know, maybe one person is working in the lower vibration than the other. I don't know. Maybe this is what the divine had planned. Okay, um, yeah, so with that being said, uh, yeah, let's move on. I don't know. All right, is there anything that this person wants to say to Cancer? I feel you even though we're apart, okay, so you, you have a soul connection with this person. Soul tie. So many things remind me of you. Like it says, your soulmates, you spend many lifetimes together. So there's possibly a lot of nostalgia going on, you know. And then, too, if you guys are on the same frequency and you think about that person, that person could possibly feel it and vice versa, okay? I still wait for a sign from you, okay? Well, so maybe this person wants to come back to you. I don't know. Um, yeah, maybe you want to go back to this person. Um, hmm. I just got maybe someone here wants, really wants to be with this person, but they know that it's not healthy for them, so they're restraining themselves from being with this person, but this is why this energy is showing up. Yeah. I don't know why, but someone may actually be holding on to this energy so that they can make sure that they don't take that person back. Keeping that, that hurt as a reminder. But the thing is, is that it's going to block you from um, from future from future relationships, okay? So, yeah, try to heal over this situation. Forgive this person and move on. Just set boundaries, healthy boundaries. Okay, and this person says, I couldn't let you get close to me. I don't know. Maybe this person has some type of codependency issues or something like that. Um, yeah, maybe they're just a bit detached. Who knows? All right, let's see. What else for cancer? Contemplation. Uh, like I said, some of you guys might be contemplating on taking this person back or... I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. And then you have breakup. And what is this? All right. Celebration. Okay. Maybe some of you guys are actually contemplating if this is the right thing that you're doing. Letting this person go. You know, it is. If this is causing you hurt, pain, and it's affecting your pinnacles, your mental health, your emotional health, yeah, you got to let it go. You got to heal from it, you know. If that's what divine is telling you to do is break it off with this person because we have something better for you. You know what I'm saying? We're showing you that we have prosperity. We're showing you that there's going to be celebration. We're showing you that there's going to be love. We're showing you that you're going to have help. We're showing you that the pinnacles is going to be okay. We're going to give you clarity about what you need and what, what how it's going to work out. And you're going to get communication letting you know that you're not by yourself. And also, we're going to give you everything that you need to manifest the things that you need. See, you have multiple options. I'm just saying. 
what you want. Pick what you want. We know that you've been through a whole bunch of shit, and we know somebody is trying to hold you back. But they can't hold you back because it's your destiny. We gave you exactly what you need, okay? For where you want to go, for where we want you to go, okay? All right, so let's get some messages from Spirit, and then I'll let you guys go because I've been here for a minute. All right, let's see. You know me, I like to talk. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Wow, your spiritual path is being illuminated. Didn't I tell you the sun is shining on that path? You got butterflies and everything, transformation, metamorphosis, cliff, crystal, uh, chrysalis, everything going on for you down that pathway. You know what I'm saying? Every door here is lit for you. Your path is being lit. They can't stop you. This is your destiny. You can't stop you if you want to. If this is the type of situation that I think it is, and it says it's your destiny, your pathway is being being illuminated I'm gonna tell you something you can't mess up <laughs> your destiny okay because it's your destiny what you can do is you can delay the progress the and and you can actually um, make it more difficult for you like that two of wands I showed you with those mountains on the side you deliberately decide to take that pathway knowing that there's an easier route yeah it, you'll delay it but um, the divine will step in and go hey you know what thump you upside the head I told you I got something for you to do now we could take this way you have guidance remember I showed you those deer right there your ancestor someone with knowledge you know what I mean someone that knows the terrain is going to help you along your way I'm going to give you that but uh, check this out. Um, you still gonna do what I told you you're gonna do. You are mind somebody. You are mind me, the universe, because I have something for you to say or for something for you to teach somebody else. Somebody needs to know what you what I've taught you. Okay, that's what you're here for. You're somebody's karma. So get it together. Let's do this. Okay. So that's what the divine is telling you. So your path is being illuminated. I don't know why I went on that tangent, but yeah, there it is. Anywho. The universe is communicating to you through signs and synchronicities. Note what you're doing, thinking about when they appear, okay? So you're going to get confirmation on all of these things, and you're going to get confirmation if you're moving in the right direction, okay? And especially when it comes to the people, places, and things that are in your life. The choices that you make is saying choose wisely. But like I said, you're going to have help when it comes to those choices. So listen to that inner voice, okay? Because, um, yeah, like I said, some of you actually have some type of mature woman as an ancestor on the other side that is help guiding you, okay? All right. If a relationship doesn't last... <laughs> It may be the universe telling you it wasn't supposed to. Like I said, you know, maybe this um, this connection right here was to teach you lessons. You and this person were supposed to come together for many lifetimes, you know. I did see the Two of Cups here. There could also be new love. It could also be that this person here is actually your soulmate, twin flame, whatever it is. You know what I mean? If that's what you believe, you know, but you are supposed to learn something from this person. Okay? Well... All right, my love, I think I talked enough. I need some water now. My mouth is dry. I hope this gives you clarity. And, yeah, heal. It looks good on you. And, um, yeah, this is um, actually going to turn out in your favor. I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, just remember, be good to people because it matters. Okay? All right.